Hopefully if you guys join in, this will be helpful for you guys. For those of you guys who are tuning in afterwards, hopefully this is useful for you guys. We'll see how many questions we can get done this time uh, and how my correct ratio is because last time I actually got like 12 out of 13 questions right, but that's kind of unusual for me. It's kind of hard to actually uh, maintain a ratio like that. And sometimes I get a lot of questions wrong in a row. So we'll see how, how I do. Uh, but first I have, um, my Anki that I'm going to do my Anki cards for first. Um, you see, I have 75 questions for the medicine deck right now. This is a little bit more than usual. Um, because I have, uh, yeah, ASMR. Hey, what's up overkill. This is a little bit more than usual because I've been adding more cards recently. And let's get started on some Anki cards. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. So uh, here we go. Some of these Anki cards are really old, so they don't really, they're not super helpful. But anyways, does pregnancy improve symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis? Uh, the answer to that is yes. Two thirds of patients will go into remission or achieve low disease activity. One third uh, will not improve or they will get worse. When titrating blood pressure meds, is it more effective to add a new agent or increase the dose of existing medications for optimal BP control? The answer to that is to add a new agent because you get diminishing returns as you increase doses, for example, from amlodipine 5 to amlodipine 10. You're not really going to be getting as much benefit as if you just add like lisinopril or something else. The risk of causing dress with allopurinol is highest in patients with what two risk factors? That's going to be CKD and um, diuretic use. So definitely need to be um, cautious about using allopurinol in those patients. The major toxicity of mycophenolate is um, bone marrow suppression. Uh, so mycophenolate bone marrow suppression. What is the treatment for severe carbon monoxide poisoning? The answer to that is um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which will oversaturate the O2 and basically help uh, displace all the carbon monoxide that's bound, binding to your hemoglobin. And the treatment for cyanide, cyanide poisoning, on the other hand, is uh, hydroxocobalamin. And I got to fix this real quick. I just recently updated to the new Anki, and I actually really like how it looks. Um, the way that you see things in the Browse uh, tab, like for example, if I look here, is a lot easier um, than it was before uh, because you can see all the cards and then you can see like a really good amount of stuff on the right-hand side, which I really like. So I do like the new updated Anki. Let's go back to some cards again. What is the treatment for... Oh, is this, let me make sure that the stream is live right now. Oh, it looks like it's live. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it is on. So what is the treatment for entamoeba histolytica abscess? Uh, the treatment for that is going to be metronidazole and paramomycin. Um, not percutaneous drainage or surgical resection, which are for pyogenic abscesses. Does prepatellar bursitis from frequent kneeling require drainage? The answer is yes. To rule out gout and septic arthritis, is active surveillance treatment option for patients with very low risk of prostate cancer? <clears throat> uh, yes. So if somebody has very low risk, you can just kind of, you know, low PSA, low grade PSA, uh, like you know, architecture of the prostate cancer on biopsy, then you can just continue surveilling them with PSA and prostate biopsy as needed instead of opting to start with treatment right away. Is Tylenol helpful for pain control in patients with osteoarthritis? The answer is no. Actually, multiple recent RCTs show no benefit, and uh, basically you should be using NSAIDs instead. What is the next step in management if a patient misses greater than two weeks of their TB regimen? It should be restart from the beginning. If they miss less than two weeks, then continue the initial regimen until the planned total number of doses is taken. If it's greater than two weeks, then restart from the beginning. <clears throat> Contraindication for raloxifene is going to be uh, VTE or prior history of clots. Uh, just because it increases the risk. What is the etiology of periungual purpura? That's kind of purpura around the nail folds in patients with vasculitis. That's going to be thrombosis, nail fold thrombosis. Is chemical pleurodesis or mechanical pleurodesis via VATS more effective? 
that would be uh, mechanical claridesis. So if somebody has secondary uh, spontaneous pneumothorax, um, actually they should all be getting some kind of pleurodesis, uh, but ideally it seems like mechanical works better than uh, chemical. What physical exam maneuver is most sensitive for determining fall risk in patients with Parkinson's? That's going to be the pull test where you pull backwards on the patient's shoulders and is positive if the patient falls into the examiner's arms or takes more than two corrective steps. What is the difference between lacunar infarct and charcot burchard aneurysms despite both involving the lenticulostriate arteries? Um, lacunar infarcts are going to be more ischemic, and these ones are more hemorrhagic, I believe. Um, but I actually don't remember the answer to this question. Oh, so yeah, that's correct. Um, so lacunar is more ischemic stroke. Charcot-Burchard is more hemorrhagic stroke. Can relapsing polychondritis cause a tender trachea and swollen joints? The answer is yes. Um, I always typically associate, associate it with the ear and kind of those like really inflamed ears that you see on exams, but uh, I didn't know that it also causes inflamed trachea and joints as well. The triad of bilateral hilar adenopathy, arthritis, and erythema nodosum. That's going to be uh, Lofgren's syndrome. Uh, for some reason, Mixap really likes this syndrome, and so it's patients with sarcoidosis, basically, who have arthritis and erythema nodosum, and this is very, very specific and sensitive for making the diagnosis. Sorry, very specific for making the diagnosis of sarcoidosis. You don't have to get a biopsy or anything after that. Is prolonged use of voriconazole uh, associated with risk of skin cancer? The answer is yes, due to phototoxicity. What is a mnemonic for remembering the presentation of men syndrome? So there's three men syndromes, right? There's men one, there's men two A, and men two B. So men one is going to be three Ps. So parathyroid, pheochromocytoma, pituitary, um, and then men two A is two Ps, and then one M. So it's parathyroid, pituitary, uh, parathyroid, pheochromocytoma, and medullary thyroid. And then uh, MEN2B is 1P and 2Ms. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, pituitary, parathyroid, pancreatic, parathyroid, pheochromocytoma, and medullary, and then mucosal neuromas, medullary thyroid, and pheochromocytoma. What are the side effects of nicotine replacement therapy? That would be kind of like vivid dreams, nausea, local irritation, <clears throat> so you should warn patients before starting this. Will EPO levels be high or low in patients with polycythemia vera? If uh, they have polycythemia vera from a primary cause, uh, then it will be low. Uh, but if they had like sleep apnea and chronic hypoxemia that's contributing to their elevated hemoglobin, then that it would be high. So in this case, it would be low. <clears throat> Palpable purpura involving the ears is suspicious for leukocytoclastic vasculitis from illicit drug use, specifically cocaine laced with a drug called levimosol. Um, and so if you see that purpura in the ears, that's what you should uh, be thinking of. Are patients with ESRD at an increased risk of developing RCC? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, so it definitely becomes uh, a higher risk of getting renal cell carcinoma if you have ESRD. So you've got to be suspicious of any weird cysts or things that are appearing. What is the difference between a chi-square test and Fisher's exact test? These are both statistical things that we look for for significance. Um, Fisher's exact test is a smaller sample size, usually. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maculopapular rash over the extremities with central vesicles, bullet, and target appearance after administration of antibiotics. This is going to be erythema multiform, uh, multiforme um, or Stevens-Johnson syndrome. What is the primary indication for isoproteranol? That's going to be um, a termination of torsades, um, basically because you increase the heart rate, which decreases the QT interval and reduces your risk of torsades. What would you expect to see on a BAL cell count if an infection is present? That would be a polymorphonuclear predominance or neutrophilic predominance. Now, if you see a BAL and it's very bland, so there's just like macrophages and histiocytes, then that argues against infection. But if you see those neutrophils all in there, then that's more suspicious. Do lacunar strokes typically present with hemispheric symptoms, such as vis visual field cuts, aphasia, or neglect? The answer is no. Usually only presents with motor or sensory findings, which can kind of differentiate a little bit from some of the cortical strokes that you might see. Uh, when should platelet phoresis be considered for patients with essential thrombocythemia? That would be platelets greater than a million 
it's not a strict cutoff, but just like extremely high levels of platelets and the addition of an acute bleeding or thrombotic event. And then once you get them to less than 400,000, you should start cytoreductive therapy. How can respiratory alkalosis cause hypocalcemia? So respiratory alkalosis is going to cause um, hydro hydrogen ions to unbind from albumin and then uh, calcium is then going to bind to the albumin and that way the calcium in your bloodstream is actually going to go down. All right, and now we're going to get to our 45 old questions. Those are the 30 reviews that we had to do. Three functions of thyroid peroxidase. I actually honestly don't remember this card that well, but it basically converts iodine into um, the active form of t T3 and T4. So we're going to oxidation of iodine, thyroglobulin, tyrosine residues. Women with primary ovarian insufficiency and no obvious top cause should be tested for what gene mutation? Um, I think it's... Uh, I actually don't remember this one. So that's the FMR1 gene, which is for carriers of fragile X. Um, and this causes accelerated follicle depletion. So I'm going to mark again for that one. Lung volume reduction surgery in COPD can be considered in patients with emphysema in what location? Uh, this is typically going to be in the upper lobes. Um, I'm not sure why it's predominantly in the upper lobes, but this is where you like chop off a piece of the lung uh, in order to reduce the burden of their COPD. Like you cut out a bunch of the diseased lung, essentially. What is the mnemonic for lung development stages? Um, it's basically, I don't really remember. Every pulmonologist can see alveoli. This is something from step one. A lot of these questions that aren't that uh, useful to me anymore, even if I don't get it right, I just mark it as good again. Um, because I don't really feel the need to see some of these cards um, anymore. Like, I don't really need to know that the lung develops in embryonic, pseudoglandular, canalicular, whatever stages. Um, but I do like to keep it in my Anki deck, because if I ever need to search for it, I remember that I still have this card. So we'll mark good for that one. What is a newer mode of mechanical ventilation that reduces vents dyskinkrity by placing a pressure sensor in the uh, esophagus? This is called um, na novel, navel... Um, something with an N, NAVA, I think. Yeah, NAVA, Neurally Adjusted Ventilatory Assist. Triad consisting of meningitis, endocarditis, and pneumonia. This is Osler's triad. What is the treatment for physiologic jaundice of the newborn? That's going to be phototherapy. How many milliequivalents of sodium is in lactated ringers? That's 130 milliequivalents. Control of postpartum hemorrhage besides oxytocin would be methergine. Uh, which is contraindicated in patients with hypertension. Most common cause of maternal death due to eclampsia is um, seizures or intracerebral hemorrhage. So I'll mark again for that. There's more OB questions that aren't as relevant to me anymore, but sometimes I still like to know some of these. Syndrome characterized by polyneuropathy, organomegaly, endocrinopathy, monoclonal gammopathy, and skin changes. This is basically a mnemonic in itself. So P-O-E-M-S is the POEMS syndrome. Rare and perineoplastic syndrome due to underlying plasma cell dyscrasia. How do you choose the antifungal for neutropenic fever prophylaxis in chemo patients? Basically, um, the ID doctors are going to look to see what antifungals are compatible with their chemotherapy regimens. So it's based on the chem compatibility with the chemo regimens. Which skin cancers have greater increased risk from total sun exposure versus brief intense sun exposure? I always get this one wrong, but I believe brief intense exposure is going to be your squamous cell and total sun exposure is going to be more of your melanoma. So let's see. Oh, I actually had that completely backwards. So I'll probably mark this again. You can see how my ease is really bad on this one because I always get this one wrong. But total exposure is going to be squamous cell and intense exposure is going to be basal cell and melanoma. What vitamin should you assess it for in all patients admitted for COPD exacerbation? That's going to be vitamin D. Um, studies have shown that supplementation in patients with severe deficiency results in 50% reduction in episodes and hospital admission. What is the most sensitive lab value for diagnosing hypothyroidism? That would going to be um, <clears throat> uh, TSH. What medications cause hyperkalemia? Your ACE inhibitors, uh, aldosterone, aldosterone antagonists, things like that. Um, yeah, pretty much. What's the most common pituitary tumor in men one? That's going to be a, um, I actually don't remember. Most common pituitary tumor is going to be a growth hormone secreting. That's oh, a prolactinoma. 
what complication of intestinal malrotation requires immediate surgical intervention? That's going to be um, uh, volvulus, vol volvulus. Okay. How can you tell the difference between drug-induced lupus and SLE? That's going to be antihistone uh, antibody, or uh, the fact that drug-induced has no involvement of skin, kidneys, or central nervous system. What is the underlying cause of hyperthyroidism in toxic adenoma? Um, basically, over-release of preformed um, uh, thyroid hormone. What type of hypersensitivity reaction is myasthenia gravis? Probably, probably type 2. It's a direct antibody mediated. Why should a patient increase their intake of vitamin D when starting carbamazepine? This is because of CYP inhibition of vitamin D, like hydroxylase. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically they need to increase their intake because they're going to be going through their vitamin D more quickly. Uh, tetracycline treats uh, chlamydial bronchitis and atypical pneumonia. It's going to be doxycycline, always doxycycline. How should you change warfarin dosing after starting a patient on amiodarone? That's going to be um, <clears throat> uh, amiodarone again is a CYP inducer, so it's going to reduce the level of medications in your blood. So you're going to have to increase the warfarin. Oh, oh, amiodarone inhibits cytochrome. Oh, right. So how come my previous one said my previous one said that it was an inducer? Oh, that's carbamazepine. Sorry. Yeah, I got that that one wrong. Uh, how should you calculate weight-based insulin, insulin dose for a normal weight patient? That's 0 0.4 milligrams per kilogram. Uh, units per kilogram, I mean. And then it depends on if they're frail or overweight, then you do a higher dosing. What team can you consider consulting to help uh, develop behavioral plans with misbehaving patients? This is something that's available at UC Davis. It's the best team. Poliovirus is acid uh, stable, which allows it to sp spread fecal orally. Uh, age four is going to be imaginative play or cooperative play. Yeah. So cooperative play lab test to assess short-term risk of premature labor is the fe fecal fetal fibronectin, um, protein believed to keep the amniotic sac glued to the lining of the uterus and presence in vaginal fluids predicts premature labor. Fulfirinox is a chemo regimen for what cancer? Usually pancreatic cancer. In general, I use Fulfox or Fulfiri for GI malignancies, Fulfirinox for pancreatic cancer, and Fulfoxiri for metastatic colorectal cancer. <clears throat> Bupropion contraindications are going to be bulimia, uh, low weight, seizures, complications of MI from RCA occlusion is going to be bradycardia, um, really going to be a heart failure. Yeah, biggest one's going to be bradycardia. Tetracycline, doxycycline, headache, fever, asymmetric paralysis with fasciculations is going to be West Nile virus. Oh, sorry. Poliomyelitis. Okay. Stroke affecting nucleus ambiguous, vestibular nuclei, spinothalamic tract, spinal trigeminal nucleus. Uh, that is going to be, um, I don't really know these ones very well. These like... Uh, localization of um, stroke syndromes. It's probably like medial medullary or something, lateral medullary syndrome. So I'll mark it as, I think I'll mark it as right because I honestly don't know how this would be applicable to me at this point. Um, maybe I'll mark it as hard. <laughs> are endothelin inhibitors, PDE5 inhibitors, and are prostanoids indicated for pulmonary hypertension secondary to LV dysfunction? That would be no. It's only for like type 1 pulmonary hypertension, like idiopathic pulmonary hypertension. Normal portal pressure gradient is less than, 15, uh, less than 1 to 5. Um, okay. How do inhaled anesthetics affect the airway diameter? They cause bronchodilation. Monozygotic twin cleavage at 8 to 12 days are going to have a separate chorion or a shared amnion. Oh, shared amnion and shared chorion scab. What kind of albumin should be given to a patient undergoing large volume parasitesis? That's going to be 25% albumin. You don't want to give them 5% albumin because um, you want to give them as concentrated uh, of a solution as possible so you're not volume overloading them. 
contraindication for using sildenafil and tadalafil in erectile dysfunction is going to be um, right-sided heart failure, I believe, because you're going to be reducing their preload. Ah, oh, sorry, it's going to be nitrate use. Um, probably, be, again, because you're just like dropping their preload too much. Flushing, throbbing headache, palpitations, abdominal cramps after eating improperly stored seafood. Whenever it's a seafood infection, think Vibrio vulnificus. Oh, I guess I'm wrong on that one. Scromboid poisoning. This is like pretty rare. Like came up on a test exam question once or something. <clears throat> How should you change warfarin dosing after starting a patient on amiodarone? We did this one earlier, but we should reduce it because amiodarone inhibits CYP450. Isoniazid may cause hepatotoxicity and peripheral nerve damage, uh, peripheral neuropathy, as well as these other problems. Hypoalbuminemia from nephrotic syndrome may result in what physical symptom? It's going to be edema all throughout. Test check if metabolic alkalosis is saline responsive or saline resistance. That's going to be um, a urine chloride. So urine chloride less than 20 and urine chloride greater than 20. Um, so, yeah. It is kind of the cutoff. Women with primary insufficiency and no obvious cause should be tested for the FMR1 mutation. Which skin uh, cancers have increased risk? Total sun exposure is going to be squamous cell. And brief intense exposure is going to be melanoma and basal cell. <clears throat> Most common cause of maternal death due to preeclampsia is going to be um, intracerebral hemorrhage. And what's the most common pituitary tumor in men? One is going to be prolactinoma. And that is it for now. So we have gotten through all of our Anki cards for the day. Now let's move back onto our custom quiz. So um, we're going to start by reviewing the 